Hi everyone, this is Paige here with another Pick a Card. We're going to be looking in to see what is your personal power. I got this brand new oracle deck by Deja Druitt called Personal Power. Okay, and I just got this, so for this reading, I'm gonna just read what it says. There's four cards in each of these piles, and I'm going to read what the, what the card means in the guidebook. So, this is pile one, this is pile two, pile three, and pile four. Take some time and pause the video and pick which one you feel called to. If you pick more than one pile, that is okay. Just means there's more than one message that spirit wants you to know. So I will meet you at your pile. Hello, pile one. Welcome in. We're going to take a look and to see what is your personal power, okay? So let's see, these are beautiful cards, aren't they? They're so girly. Okay, the first card says, I am authentic. Ooh. I am sacred. I am wild and free. I am confident. Okay, let's do the first one, which is I am authentic. Living and being your true authentic self isn't always easy. Many times we subconsciously change our behavior, looks, or even beliefs in order to blend in, stand out, or please others. We let the pressures of society, family, or friends mold us into someone we aren't meant to be. This card asks you, in what ways are you being authentic and is there anything that you feel you have changed against your truest desires? Living an authentic life takes courage and sometimes sacrifice. It may require losing friends or family, but in the end it is a choice that only you have the power to make. Beautiful. The next one is I am sacred. If you don't yet know the importance of self care, one day you will. It's usually when we lack it and need it most that it makes itself known to us as something that is missing. I learned the hard way about the importance of self care when I reached my boiling point of physical and emotional neglect. This is the author of the deck speaking in the first person. Self-care is a choice and a personal power because it is what helps us recharge and feel balanced. It takes conscious practice. We women often tend to put everyone else before us, which can lead to burnout or dissatisfaction with life. This card urges you to ask yourself if you're happy and fulfilled with your daily routine. The first step is to set the intention. The next is to take action towards it. No more waiting, no more excuses. Give yourself permission to nurture your mind, body, and soul so you can show up in the world radiating. And then with the I am wild and free. Being wild and free may come easy to us when we are kids, but usually over time we lose that ability. Or maybe it just gets tamed with years of being told what to do and how to do it, what is right and what is wrong. Growing up doesn't mean we should stop having fun. Having fun and being free should never stop. Allow yourself to embody the wild and free nature of Aquarius. Go singing in the rain, paint with your hands, learn to stand on your head. Reawaken your youth for you are forever young. And then lastly, I am confident. Confidence is something we can all have. Regardless of how pretty or successful you are, it's how you choose to feel about yourself that is important. Confidence is a power which attracts not only people into our lives, but job opportunities as well. People rely on leaders not just for their skills, but for their confidence and belief in themselves. 
Confidence allows you to be comfortable in your skin, to go after what you believe in, and to make better choices in your life. When you don't rely on other people's opinions or approval, you live a free and fulfilling life. Sometimes confidence is born after you have proven yourself, but you can also build your confidence first. You do not need to prove anything to anyone in order to be confident. Everyone can truly learn to be confident. Okay, it's a quick short reading, Pile One. I hope that this resonated with you. Give a thumbs up if it did, and I will see you in my next reading. Thank you. Hi, Pile Two. So what is your personal power? You don't know? Well, we're going to find out, okay? So let's see what cards you have, Pile Two. I am blessed. I am good enough. I embrace change. And I am fearless. I love this card. Okay, let's read them one by one, starting with the I am blessed. Gratitude has been a huge blessing for many people. They have found the power in saying thank you to the simple things that many people take for granted. Some say if you are not grateful, the universe will not reward you with more blessings. I have found this to be a very powerful practice when I was in my darkest times. I meaning the author of the deck. I reminded myself that things could be worse and I thank the universe for giving me all that I already had. I was grateful even for the challenges because I saw how it was benefiting me. Heartbreak strengthened me. Financial hardship helped me to be more efficient and be more determined to create success. Illness helped me see that I could take better care of my body. Keep a gratitude journal handy and write in it every day Find the blessings behind difficulties. This is your personal power. Okay. Let's go to the next one. I am good enough. You are good enough to be loved. You are good enough to be successful. You are good enough just the way you are. It's so easy for us to judge ourselves and criticize how we can be better. Don't let rejection define you. It's important to remember that no matter what, your best is good enough even if you fail or get rejected. It's normal to doubt yourself or feel inferior to others. Keep going, keep trying, and pat yourself on the back for doing your best. At the end of the day, all we can do, all we can do is do our best. Want is because you deserve something better. I think that was a typo. What if the reason you don't always get what you'd want is because you deserve something better? What if that perfect career opportunity or partner is out there but is not your ready but is not ready to be yours, sorry. Don't blame yourself for not getting it now. We can't always be perfect. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. There is something that you are really good at, whether you already know it or not. A lot is going a lot of us don't even realize that we are really good at something, perhaps because it's always come easy to us, but this is valuable and can be utilized in many ways, like teaching others to do it or pursuing it as a career or business. Focus on your strengths and things you enjoy doing. Next, we have the I Embrace Change. You are not the same person you were a few years ago. Have you ever looked back and noticed how much you have changed? It can be quite surprising. Over time, we naturally outgrow certain thoughts, beliefs, and behaviors. Instead of resisting change, embracing it is your superpower. Growth and change are not inevitable. Similar to detoxing and getting rid of things that are unhealthy for us, this card is here to reassure you that you may be going through some changes and to be patient and let them unfold. Snakes shed their skin for growth and to remove parasites, which attach to their body. 
Similar to snakes, humans also shed and regrow outer skin cells about every 27 days. Almost 1,000 new skins in a lifetime. Wow. Change and growth can be painful, but when it's all over, a new version of us emerges. <clears throat> this is quite an exciting thought if there are ways you are hoping to grow or change, that nothing is the same forever. And last but not least, we have the I am fearless. What is fear? Really, what is it? We can't see or touch it, we can only feel it. Think of all the things that you are afraid of. How many of those things have you done despite being afraid to do it? The only thing keeping you from doing this is fear itself, which is really just a thought, a voice in your mind. The more you do something that scares you, the smaller that fear gets until it disappears completely. It's truly remarkable. To do that, you must first come to full awareness that the reason you aren't doing something is because of fear. Define that fear and the possible outcome. Once you have identified the root of that fear and the worst case scenario, only you can find the courage to face that fear and watch that fear completely vanish and feel totally foreign to you as if it never even existed. That is deep. Thank you so much for watching that. This is your message, Pile 2, your personal power. I hope that enlightened you and encouraged you in some way. Give a thumbs up if it resonated, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. We're going to take a look into seeing what is your personal power. Let's take a look at your cards. I am safe. I have a higher purpose. I love the imagery here with the different shades of blue and purple. I reveal my truth. And I tune out negative people and thoughts. Okay, let's start with the I am safe. We all deserve to be and feel safe. It is common for us to get caught up in situations that are difficult to get ourselves out of. Forgive yourself if you've ever gone against better judgment. Don't let your past circumstance make you feel guarded and unable to be vulnerable forever. You deserve a fresh start. You deserve to be able to put your protective shield down. One of my favorite things to do for protection is to burn some sage and visualize myself being completely protected by a giant gold bubble. I then ask for protection from Archangel Michael and imagine whoever I need protection from leaving me alone. I also love to burn sage around my home or that person's space and clearing their energy and visualizing them going away. Do what you need in order to feel safe, even if it means taking drastic action, better safe than sorry. Okay, and your next card is I have a higher purpose. We are all here for a reason and have a higher purpose. It's very different for everyone. Sometimes the smallest things we do make a huge impact on others. It's very normal to wonder what your higher purpose is. If you are wondering that, then you may not be living it yet, or perhaps you simply don't see it yet. You may very well be already doing what you are destined to do, but still wonder if there is something bigger. The fact that you may be searching for those answers makes you that much closer to discovering it. Whatever lights up Whatever lights you up or makes you feel the most excited is usually partly tied to what you are meant to do. Do not doubt for a second that you are not here for a greater cause, because you are. Some people figure it out sooner than others. No matter what, have faith that the puzzle of your life will come together. Ask for guidance and meditate to get some clarity. Surrender to the signs being sent to you from the universe. Life often surprises us and can take us on a totally unexpected path. We're not 
always meant to know what the path is, so just relax and enjoy the ride. Ooh, that was deep. Now we have I Reveal My Truth. Okay. It is believed that not vocalizing your emotions and keeping them bottled inside can lead to throat and other health issues. It took me, the author of the Oracle deck, it took me many years to notice a connection between constant throat infections I had my whole life and the fact that I always bottled up my emotions. I was always afraid to hurt the other person or afraid of their reaction. What is silence costing you? You may not need to confront everyone that bothers you, but it is important to find someone or something to vent to. It can be a close friend, a therapist, or a journal. Sometimes we need to scream and shout. Whatever your story or situation, expressing your feelings about it or telling your story may help someone else. Your story is what makes you who you are and connecting with others can be very healing. And last but not least, I tune out negative people and thoughts. Tuning out all the negativity in the world is difficult, but sometimes necessary, especially if it's targeted towards you. It is very easy for us to doubt and second guess ourselves based on criticism from others. Trust your own opinions and thoughts, recognize when the opinions of others are just their opinions. It does not make their opinion a fact or true. Sometimes other people's feedback is helpful and needs to be heard. It takes courage to pursue your own beliefs and ideas. It takes courage to put yourself out there and be vulnerable to criticism and judgment from others. Do not let the pressure or judgment from others stop you from pursuing your true heart's desires. Tune them out. Take them with a grain of salt and keep shining. That is your personal power. Thank you so much, Pile 3, for watching my video. I hope that this resonated in some way. And if you liked this, then um, please give me a thumbs up and be on the lookout for my future videos. Thank you. Last but not least, hello, Pile number 4. Don't tell the other piles, but you guys have the most cards. Um, all the other piles have four, but this one has five. So there's definitely a lot of messages that Spirit wants you to know. So if you're interested to know what your personal power is, or maybe some encouraging messages from Spirit, we're going to look at the cards one by one, and I'm going to read it from the guidebook. Okay, so let's see what you have. I am supported. I release what doesn't serve me. That's um, one of my favorite cards in the deck. I can change my thoughts. I surrender. And I trust my intuition. For those familiar with the tarot, doesn't this look like the high priestess? Am I right? Okay. We're going to read them in chronological order, starting with the I am supported. Whether you know this or not, you are always supported by spirit. This definition varies based on your belief system, but I believe we have many spirits on the other side who love and support us. They are always watching over us and help to guide us on our path and purpose. These spirits can be your pets, friends, and family who have passed on, or ancestors and angels of different sorts. In the end, we are never alone, so if you ever feel like you are, reach out to your guides or loved ones on the other side. Pray or ask for help or a sign. You can also simply speak to the universe as a whole and allow it to show you the answer. It's beautiful. Next is, I release what doesn't serve me. Releasing what no longer serves us should be done on a regular basis, like cutting grass or throwing the trash out. 
We can't carry all our baggage around forever. Sometimes we need a good cry. Other times we need to cut ties with certain people in our lives. It's completely normal to outgrow things and people and begin a new phase of our lives. Releasing them from your life is your personal power. How often do we hold on to things or people that are either holding us back or draining us of our energy? If you are worried about something today, release it. Worrying only adds stress to our life and adds no value. Have you ever cried but it felt good? Let it out, think it out, journal. When you give yourself time to think about why something is really bothering you, you may get more clarity and understanding behind the bigger issue. Once you have come to terms with it and released it, try to accept it for what it is and move on because you will be okay. Alrighty, next is I can change my thoughts. Our thoughts are the first thing that lead to where we are today. Awareness is the first step to changing the outcome that follows our thoughts. Where do our thoughts come from? Are they facts or just your own version of the truth? Do your thoughts support your desired goals? If not, can you search for proof to disprove your thoughts and help you form new thoughts and beliefs? You have the power to create new thoughts and beliefs that would then lead to you taking desired action or being in a desired state of mind. Okay, we have the I Surrender. It looks like she's swimming in galax galaxy waters almost. It's really pretty. I love the illustrations that this artist did. Like the, the author of the deck and the jar like she did the whole thing like she did everything for this so let's move on my words are just little today okay let's see i surrender have you ever been so overwhelmed trying to make something happen and no matter how hard you try something always seems to get in the way there are times things are beyond our control or we are not meant to take action Everything is about ebb and flow, and we have to learn to acknowledge that time and simply surrender. Tune in to what the universe wants you to do. Surrender, have fun, do something adventurous, and let life be your inspiration or spark. When you surrender to life's plan, it brings you the people and opportunities necessary to proceed to take the next step. So take a break, allow your mind to be still. Go for a walk, take a quiet bath or shower, meditate or swim. Journal and write down your thoughts. It can take an hour to get clarity or it can take days, weeks, or even more. Trust that when you are meant to take action, that spark of clarity will reveal itself to you. And last but not least, we have I trust my intuition. We are all born with our higher self, which is our spirit self that is always aware and has all the answers. She is there to guide and protect us and we can all learn to hear her. She comes through in many different ways. Some can hear her guidance through, jour through journaling, others through meditation. Sometimes you might hear signs, see patterns, repeating, or it can be just a feeling. Many people ignore her, but if you learn to acknowledge her and open yourself to listen, through practice you will receive her guidance too. There is usually no logic to this guidance and may not, and may not be what we want. But if it feels right, no matter how much you don't want to do something, it may be trusting. It can be a feeling that you need to see a doctor or not trust someone. It can be to do something that scares you, like doing a public speech. Pay attention to the subtle hints or signs. If you keep stumbling upon the same word or book, don't ignore it. Trust it. This trust is your personal power. Thank you so, so much, Pio4, for watching and tuning in. I hope that this brought some clarity 
and insight. And if you resonated with this, please do give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings. Bye.